Hello everybody, my name is Bo Dimitrescu and today we're interviewing Anneke Duurlinger. Uh, she's an international NLP trainer and coach and also a trainer with the Institute of Eclectic Psychology here in the Netherlands. Uh, she has written many books uh, of which the latest is one for trainers and today we're going to talk a little bit about her history with NLP and uh, what is why she's so passionate about NLP. So Anneke, thank you so much for doing this interview yeah, with thank us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, a pleasure. pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get into NLP? How uh, did it come about? How did I get into NLP? I got into NLP with um, after my post uh, bachelor's uh, education. I was kind of deciding whether I wanted to go to university or do another study. But I'm not so much about scientific approach, I'm not so much about statistics, I'm much more like, you know, communicating with people. So I didn't know what kind of study to pick and uh, in that process I encountered somebody who by that time already worked at uh, the Eve Institute and taught NLP. Mm -hmm. And he didn't tell me about NLP, but he made me experience NLP. And uh, that was quite a, a powerful experience because after doing this NLP conversation with me and kind of eliciting resources inside of me, which I could use uh, at the school where I worked at that time in a meeting and I was really very powerful and people listened to me and I was going like, wow, this is really <laughs> working. Yeah. So that's where I decided this is the way to go for me. Yeah. And um, so that, that's one reason. But the other reason is also that what I found out was that NLP is not free of values, but it enables me to coach people and train people and follow their values at the same time, mm -hmm. all within an ecological frame of yes. work for me. You know, yeah. I have to tend to my own values as well, but I can, you know, I can, I can paste the values and within that frame of their values, I, we can do the, the, the coach work or the trainings work at the same time. Nice. So. And you train many people and met many people within the field of NLP. Yes. What were one of the most remarkable moments uh, in your history with teaching, training, coaching people within this field? Well, you know, you have, on one part, I've been trained by many different NLP trainers, yeah. uh, a lot, by the way, by Rob Diltz, and of course, Jaap and Anneke at, at the beginning, back in 1987, when I started my first NLP training yeah. course at the EAP. And on the other hand, I've trained people myself since 1995 at the EAP Institute, where I uh, now do two practitioner's courses a year. Um, so beginning, what are the most, you know, the most special encounters? I think in, in each training there were special encounters. I've been trained by Judy Deloge and her way of framing things is really magnificent. It's really very playful. She uses metaphors and it's, it's a joy to model that. Yeah. And um, Robert, he has the utmost respect of the models of the world. And of course, he's a genius in applying all different models and put them into good use yeah. with NLP. And then from Stephen Gilligan, for instance, I have picked up the, the archetypical energies like uh, the playfulness and the passion and uh, the strength and how to combine them in a flexible way into your own training. Yeah. And one worth mentioning is, as well is, is, I remember vividly, the, the Tools of the Spirit, which the EEP uh, did here at, uh, at the port with Robert McDonald and yeah. uh, Robert Dills where they taught the larger self. And that was a, a pretty special uh, um, training as well. But of course, here back home, I, I was taught also, or we were learning from each other, I guess, um, from Anneke Meijer, from Jaap Hollanda, from Lucas Dirks. Of course, Lucas Dirks with Social Panorama yeah. has influenced me. Anneke Meijer with her, you know, infinite trust in the unconscious and her I wonder how strategy and yeah by his vivid way of training and his punctuation so there's so many influences and yeah. I feel that 
I have been like a garden where all kinds of plants were, were you know, put in the ground and yeah. they were allowed to blossom. So my book, my manual for trainings is also, you know, a tribute to them as well. I have combined all those learnings yeah. into, uh, into that book.